We got a little smoke going, we got the knife work going, and so we're going to fry some avocados. That's exactly right. <laughs> when you select an avocado, I want you to get one that's not too soft and yet not too firm. So it just right. has a little give to the avocado. If you're going to do this, by all means, go ahead and purchase two avocados just in, case. in case. Yes, right. because I don't know if you've ever had one that you thought was going to be perfect and then you it got home and it was not, not perfect. <gasps> Ooh, that one's perfect. Isn't that great? Yeah. And then, and I didn't even test it ahead of time. We're going to peel the peeling off just so that it can be nice and firm. We're not even going to use oh, a okay. spoon because this is going to be very delicate. When we talk about frying avocado, we're not thinking about fried fish or anything like not that. Right. These are crispy. small, right. right? And these are small, little, beautiful bites. I have never heard of frying avocado. They're so good. <gasps> okay, so we're just going to do some little slices. See how tiny those are? Okay. Right. So these are like little yes. bites. About a quarter of an inch thick. Exactly. And what we're going to do, we've got a little canola oil that's nice and hot. That's the smoky part <laughs> in the kitchen. And then we're going to actually just use a little cornmeal. Now, if you're gluten-free, you would think that cornmeal would automatically be gluten-free, and it should. But when I went to the supermarket, so many different cornmeals are actually combined with flour. They're done oh, on right. a line okay. with other flowers, so it was difficult actually for me to find. So I went ahead and kind of just improvised and Oop. got some cornbread mix. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And so, so you can use that instead absolutely. and it's good and that's gluten-free. And it's gluten-free. It's not going to be quite as crunchy, which mm -hmm. is fine, but um, if you get in a pinch and you're gluten-free and you need to do that, go ahead. And then this is hot and we're just going to lay these down just like that. So you just, just like sprinkle that. the, the cornmeal corn over mm -hmm. it. And we're just frying and we're just it in a pan. Wow, I'm going to try that. And, and when you, I'm sorry. And we're going to use the shiv for dipping or, or we're going to yes, place it on yes. there? Yes, We're okay. actually going to do it in a little um, dish so that's on the side. And then okay. we're going to take the shiv that we made before. Amy, you want to show us that little pastry bag? I would love to. <laughs> yes, and it's got a little star kind of tip on the end. If you don't uh -huh. have a pastry bag, don't worry about it. You can just use a little Ziploc bag. Okay. And we're going to do a little sea salt. And do you want to do yep. that for us, Chris? And Go a little pepper that, would be great. We're about to run out of time Perfect. here. Perfect. And then I did some little, I didn't mean to grab that out of your hand. You're fine. I just <laughs> we, we got, got to 30 show seconds. it. I didn't get to actually use it. <laughs> I've got go. another little tip. And this one is just a round one. And so I kind of scored it so the tomatoes are nice and pretty. There we go. Yeah. And then we're just going to pump just, it full. That's it. <gasps> Very nice. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that is pretty. And then we're going to put a little extra basil on the top All to garnish right. them. All right, it is theglutenfreeguru.com for more videos and tips, and we've got a little fall fashion show coming up in just a few minutes. Stay with us.